He's preparing for us. He is preparing great things for us. Good things are getting ready to come out of sour situation. God, you are up to something. And it's going to be big. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Are we excited to be in the house of God today? Yes, the house of the Lord, hallelujah. Yes, God, another opportunity, another day. This is the day you have made, Lord. We shall rejoice and be glad in it as we come in the day, Lord God, to praise you, God, to thank you, God. Yes, God. So today, Father God, let our hearts and minds be open, Lord God. Father God, let us not be distracted, Lord God, but let us come in freely, Lord God, ready. Ready, to, Lord God, ready to be moved, Lord God. Ready to be shifted, Lord God. Ready to be refocused, realigned, and reset. We thank you for this mighty thing you have made for us, Lord God. He have provided. He have provided a way here, Lord God. And as we stand before you, Father God, we give you all we have, Lord God. We praise you. We worship you, Lord God. We release. Release it. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you for the word that's going to be brought forth through this house today. Almighty word of God. Yes, Lord. Boys out anointing, Lord God. Hallelujah, Father God. As your fresh wind continues to blow through this house, Lord God. Father God, we stand before you, before your throne, Father God. Thank you for all the miracle signs and wonders that took place this week. Father God, it's going to take place through this service. Hallelujah. Let's get excited, sex. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We serve an amazing God. We thank you. Yes, we love you, God. Yes, God. We glorify, we magnify your name. We thank you for this house, Lord. Yes, God. Divine World Changes International Ministries, Lord God. Father God, we thank you for, for your presence that's upon this house, Lord. That's upon our man and woman of God. Dr. Pastor Derwin Hickman, Senior Co-Pastor Francois Hickman, Lord God. Continue to let their oil flow, Lord God. Their oil overflow on us, Lord God. Continue to bless their lives, Lord. Hallelujah, God. And we thank you for the mission and vision of this church, Lord God. And Father God, continue to use every, every saint, Lord God, every vessel, Lord God, as on their kingdom assignment, Lord. And we thank you, Father God. We don't take it for granted, Lord, that we serve an amazing God. You are a healer. You are a provider. Who wouldn't serve a God like this? Hallelujah. Who would not serve a God like this? So, Father God, we thank you on this day in advance, Lord God. Yes, God. Take over the service, Lord God. Be amongst your people, God. We know you're here, Lord God. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, move through. Overflow. Overflow in each and every one of us, Lord God. Each and every one of us, Lord God. Pray, Lord God, for the praise team, Lord God. They minister, Lord God, in song, Lord God. The musicians, Lord God. Let them come boldly, Father God. Yes, God. Boldly, Lord God, before the throne, Father God, using their gifts, no hands. No hindrances, Lord God. No weapon formed against this house is going to prosper. We're protected from the north, south, the east, and the west. So, Father God, we thank you for your mighty power that continues to work in this house. Lord God, for the miracle signs and ones we continue to see, Lord God. We thank you for your blessings, Lord. We thank you for where you just stepped in this week and moved the challenges out the way, Lord God. We didn't even have to do anything because you're that, you're that kind of guy. You're the kind of God, yes. When we don't really feel your presence, Lord God, you are moving in our lives, Father. So we thank you for that. Those hidden things, Lord God, that you got us over, Lord God, that you continue to protect us from, Lord God. And Father God, we pray, Lord God, that we may stay in your word, Lord God, before you coming before you in prayer, Lord God, that we're praying for one another, Lord God. Hallelujah, that we're walking in love, God. You are love, so we want to walk with the love of God, not in a judgmental state, Father God. So, Father God, we ask that more of your love, more of your love overflow in us, Lord God. 
as we walk our kingdom assignments, Lord God, we walk it out. As we meet people, Lord God, we are teaching, telling them about Jesus Christ, Lord God. How? Ask them, do you want to be saved? Yes, and getting them saved, Lord God, completing their mission, the assignment, making disciples, Father God. We cannot stop making disciples, Lord, going out through all the world. Yes, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, Father God. So, Father God, on this day, have your way, Lord. Have your way amongst your people, Father God, amongst this service, Lord God. Yes, mighty move of God. Mighty move, your hand is on us, Lord. Your hand is on this nation, Father God. No matter what it looks like, Lord. Father God, we can walk in peace. We can walk in love. We can walk in kindness. We can walk because we're blessed. We're blessed coming in and we're blessed going out. Hallelujah. So, Father God, we thank you in advance, Lord God, for what you're going to do in this service, Father God. You are the author and finisher of our faith. God, we can depend on you, Lord God. Our trust is in you. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Father God. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood, Lord God. This is a new day. we never seen this day, Lord, but you know what we have before us, Lord God. And you're going to be with us, Lord God, until the end. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, bless his name. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah, just go ahead and bless the name of the Lord this morning. Just give him some overdue praise, Lord God, for the season that he's took us through, Lord God. He's blessed us and kept us on our way. Hallelujah, he's worthy. And we just want to saturate the atmosphere with his praise because he's truly worthy. He reigns in our life. Hallelujah, continuously reigning in our life. Our God reigns. This is just a simple one. Just come on and lift it up with us to bless the name of the Lord on this morning because this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. Yeah. See my God reign, my God reign, say Lord you reign above every name, yeah, my God reign, say our God reign, say Lord you reign above every name with power and majesty, oh, tell him he reigns. With power and majesty, majesty hey, he reigns. Oh, I say my God reigns. Say our God reigns. Tell him, Lord, you reign above every name. Yeah, my God reigns. Say our God reigns. Say, Lord, you reign. Above every name, with power and majesty, hey, tell him you reign, oh, say, with power and majesty, oh, you reign, come on, y'all, say, I got reign, say, my God reign, Lord, you reign above every name. Yeah, my God reigns. Say, our God reigns. Say, Lord, you reign above every name with power and majesty. Hold dominion. Tell him he reigns. Hey, with power and majesty. Say my God reigns. Say our God reigns. Say Lord you reign above every name. Yeah, my God reigns. Say our God reigns. Say Lord you reign above every name. Say over my circumstance. Yeah. 
come on, say over my circumstance. Sing that one more time, y'all. Say, my God raised, my, my God raised. Say, I got raised. Say, Lord, you reign above every name. Yeah, my God raised. Say, I got raised. Say, Lord, you reign above every name. Say, over my circumstance. Come on and sing it with us. You reign, you reign, you reign, you reign, you reign. Come on, y'all. He reigns over my circumstance, over my life, you reign, over your children. Hallelujah, who believes that, that he reigns in your life. He is the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end, the bright and morning star. Hallelujah, he's just truly worthy. I just thank him for what he's doing in my life, the healing. Hallelujah. Somebody didn't wake up this morning. Hallelujah, and that's just a known fact. We got activities of our limbs, breath in our body, a sound mind. Just the ability just to do it all over again. Start afresh and anew. Be redeemed. Hallelujah. He's just truly worthy. He's a strong tower of faith. Hallelujah. He's everything to me. And I give him all the praise. I pray without ceasing. He's just a magnificent God. Hallelujah. And there's no other way but his way. And I just want to thank him on this morning because he's worthy. He's truly worthy. Even if you're at home right now, you can lift your hands and you can say that he's worthy. He's healing in this season. He's renewing in this season. He's giving life back to the lifeless. Hallelujah. It's some that was in the bed on respirators. Hallelujah. That was able to get back up just one more time. He's even covering the non-believers. Hallelujah. And I don't know how to do this but to confess the faith of God. Because he is the am that I say that I am. He's the humble one. And he's the God of a second chance. Uh Hallelujah. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Oh Lord. Hallelujah. How excellent. Is your name? Your name is strength. Your name is power. A strong tower makes me safe. Oh Lord, how Lord, how excellent. Your name is strength, 
Your name is power, a strong tower makes me say, oh, there's nobody like it, Lord, nobody like it, Lord, everybody say.
need to rest right there for a second. Who wouldn't say? Who wouldn't say? But God like I just need a couple people with incredible faith to lift their voices with us. Who wouldn't say? Who wouldn't say? A God like this. Hey, who wouldn't say? Who wouldn't say? Who wouldn't say? A God like this. Oh, like I said, God is amazing. Who wouldn't say? Who would serve a God like this? The only one that you can go to with all your problems, your needs, and he won't criticize a judge. Who would serve a God like this? Oh, I don't know about you, but that joys me every day. Who would serve? Who would serve a God like this? Oh, he love you, he love you, he love you, he love you. Cry out, Savior, 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 Savior. Savior. Anybody else catch on to that? Who wouldn't serve God? He's a savior. Who wouldn't serve a God like this? Oh, he's worthy to be praised. Worship his name. Who wouldn't serve? Who wouldn't serve a God like this? Say, we love you, we love you, we love you. Cry out, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. right here is just something about this who wouldn't serve who wouldn't serve a god like this i know i have to serve god there's no other way hallelujah who wouldn't serve a god like this hey who wouldn't serve who wouldn't serve who wouldn't serve, who wouldn't serve a god like this just one more time who wouldn't serve a god like this who wouldn't serve a god like this Oh, somebody make some noise in the house of the Lord today. He's worthy to be praised. Come on, turn your praise meter up just a little bit more. Dial your faith in on today because he is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. He serves in excellence all the time. There's no other way but God's way. Hallelujah. Who wouldn't serve a God like this? Hallelujah. Who wouldn't serve a God like this? Hallelujah. He's worthy. Hallelujah, he's worthy. Thank you, Lord. Come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Come on, let's set the atmosphere. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I know we're a little bit earlier. We had to spring forward. Come on. But we need to give God glory because early in the morning when we seek him, just tweak me a little bit, a little bit. Just a little bit. Hallelujah. Come on, I want you to say hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. Let's come on. Hallelujah. Come on, let's let him hear us. Hallelujah. Come on, let's let him hear us. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, God. Come on, come on, come on. Stir us up. We thank you, God. We thank you for waking us up this morning. Come on, we thank you, God. Hallelujah. We still working with the sound. Come on, come on, come on. But what about you? Come on, what about your voice? What about your voice this morning? When you're telling God, we thank you, God. We woke up this morning, God. We got one more time, God, to give you all glory and honor. We thank you, God, for your presence. We thank you, God, for your protection. We thank you, God, for who you are. God, you are the great I am. God, we honor you today. Glory. Come on, glory. Come on, church. Y'all look quiet this morning. Y'all look quiet. Y'all look quiet. Y'all look quiet. Come on, come on. When we got one in the house, that should be enough to give God glory. That should be even enough to tell God, thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Father God, we bless your name. We thank you for who you are. 
God, we give you all glory and honor and praise, God. Hallelujah. There we go. God, you are great, God. You are awesome, God. You are mighty, God. Let's remind them of who he is. What are you to me, God? You are mighty, 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 God. So we thank you for protecting us, covering us, God. We thank you for covering us, God. We thank you for covering us, God. Seen and unseen, God, you covered us. We thank you, God, for your hedge of protection. There's nobody like you, Father. 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 Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you. <laughs> thank you, God. <laughs> thank you, God. When you just think about how good you've been to us, God, we just want to say thank you. That ain't even enough, but God, we say thank you, Father. Thank you, God, for this day. Have your way in this place, God. Minimize me, God. Remove me, God. That your word will come out full force, God. That we will be able to do that and what you call us to do today, God. And that's to edify you through the word of God. And so, God, we give you all glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name, we said amen. Amen. Hallelujah. My God, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Man, I, I, I said, God, what in the world? When we start to think about how good God is. Just position yourself to receive today. Position yourself to say, God, I'm going to get out of this word what I need. And pastor go give it to me. I'm not going to make him have to push so much that he got to literally blow his voice in order to get it. No, I come to receive what God has. I come to receive the word of God. I may have heard it, but I come with a fresh ear, with a fresh anointing on this word today for it to come in my spirit. Be. Come on, come on. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I'm going to tell you how, you, let me, t you know how you want to get out of class early? Start acting like you tell the teacher, start talking to him. When the teacher says something, yeah, teacher, I got you, I got you. Right now this morning, I need you to say, yeah, pastor, I got you. As we keep going, then we can get on the body here. We ain't got to stay long. Then I know that it's getting, I know you understand what's happening. But when we sit here and act like, okay, all right, Lord, have mercy. We came one more day, one more day here. Look, we ain't had no funeral day, are we? We ain't. Hey, we ain't on no funeral today. You got up with the activities of your limbs, and you got up to say, God, you good. You got up to be able to say, God, come on. Somebody didn't wake up, but you did. Somebody ain't moving today, but you are. You ought to say, God, I'm moving today, so I'm going to give him glory today because I can speak today. Somebody ain't even say nothing, but God, I'm saying you good. My God, my God. Huh, come on, come on. See, see, that should be just enough when the old people see. I was talking to somebody about some of this old saying when they would just sit here. And you just would know when they would say, preach. <laughs> when they said, that's right there, brother. <laughs> Hallelujah. See, you knew when they raised that hand, you knew right then that you were talking something to them because they were right in the spirit and said, well, go on and talk that thing. Because they understood that, but now we so cute. Oh, oh we so cute. Oh, maybe, <laughs> maybe today, maybe. But you better get to the point that you say, regardless of what it is, I know what God has done for me and how he'd have got me through, how he'd have moved me through. And Brother Sean, today, can I get you, brother? I need y'all, hey, listen, I need my band to be following me, amen. Y'all help me to push through. Come on, help me to push through just lightly. And then when we get in, go in. I like my atmosphere feel. Y'all know how Pastor is. Y'all know what he like. He like a little conversation. Right. See, when I preach, I believe in preaching and having conversation with the Lord. I believe in having conversation with the Word of God. I believe in confirming what God has said. I don't believe in just saying, okay, now. Because if I wanted to be a Presbyterian pastor, I would have been that. If I wanted to be a Catholic pat priest, then that's what I would have been. I ain't that. So we got to understand how to. Huh? Y'all better talk back to me because I said, I know, I know we got our degrees and all that good stuff, but come on here now. Let's not be so cute that we just, uh, because uh, a degree ain't going to do nothing for you. A nice job with a fat child salary, yeah, that's good. Amen. But you better understand who provided all of that for you. 
and your emotions and where we at when things happen, you got to let that stuff go. God said, I'm going to hold you accountable for you. You can't worry about what the husband did, the boyfriend, the child, or whoever else. You got to let that stuff go. Today, I want y'all to say, let it go. Come on, let it go. Right now, I'm letting it go. I don't know who came in. Somebody, just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. On the other side, I, I, I challenge you to let it go. Let it go. Whatever it was, let it go so you can get the word of God. You can be what God calls you to be. I know when God said, just hold up a minute. We so fast. We moving. We moving. We moving. God said, you got to slow down sometime just so you can make sure you understand that we are intentional with what it is that we are doing. We're going to be intentional with what God has for us. Come on. I got an intention today. I got an intention. It said what? This, my title said, let's go. Wow. Let's go. Wow. And y'all said, well, what is the wow? Walk on water. Come on, come on. Let's go wow. Let's go wild. W-O-Y. W-O-W. I said, wow, Jesus. W-O-W. Let's go what? Wow. We're going to walk on water today, y'all. Come on, come on, come on. Somebody say, I got to walk. I said, what is your water, though? What is the situation? It might be financial. It may be sickness. It may be relationship. It may be job. It may, what is your water? What is the situation that you're going through that really become your water that's stopping you from getting to the other side? What is it that you're going through right now? It may be your education. It may be something else that's going on. What is keeping you from getting to the next level and getting through what it is God has? What is keeping you? What is it that you thought I said, God, I don't know if I can cross that. I don't know if I can get through that. I don't know. God said, but I'm going to show you today. You're going to pot the water. Either you're going to get in it or you're just going to cross over and just walk on top of the water. Come on, anybody try to just walk on the water right now. I Come on, whatever you're going through. Go with me to Genesis 1. Let's go ahead. I'm, I'll take me, you know what I want y'all to do? Go with me to Genesis Go me one. I think I want amplified version. Let me see. Yeah, put up the amplified. So at least we start. We're going to start there. And then we're going to move into Moses. Yeah, we're going to start talking about Then we're going to move on. Then we're going to John. And so we're going to go through. So we're going to Exodus. Then we're going to go into John. And then we're going to finish up again in Psalms. Amen. So we're going to move right like that. So it's going to keep moving for the affirmation. But when you're in Psalms 91, you can't be there if you don't understand what it is that you're thanking God for. When you don't understand that, we got the amplified up there. Okay, here we go. And this is what God gave me this way. He said, just say this for me. I want you to be able to say this. Say, Lord, I come to hear, receive, and be changed by the word of God. Lord, I come to hear, receive, and be changed by the word of God. Faith in this word cometh to me now. Faith in this word cometh to me now. Faith in this word cometh to me now. <laughs> Remove all hindrances or thoughts that will stop me from what receiving and manifesting this word in Jesus' name. Remove it, God. Remove it, God. Remove all familiar spirits that keep me from moving and understanding who God is and what God has to say through me to the word. It will never change. Help me, God, see something that I didn't see before. Help me, God, hear something that I didn't hear before. Help me, God, see a revelation that I didn't. Come on. We ask for revelation knowledge, God. I want you to see your revelation knowledge today, God. I want to be able to see God. I want to be able to see something I did not see before. Because guess what? You're not the same as what you were 10 years ago or five years ago. Or even yesterday, today, I'm a new person. This is new. New mercies I see every day. Come on, new mercies. Anybody think of God for your new mercies? <laughs> Man. <laughs> and then this word, I just had this word. Some of the things I wrote down, it says, says some issues we will need to remind ourselves of who we are in Christ. Who we are in Christ. And then when we go, he said, one of the things he said, Moses needed to part his way through. Joshua needed to just step on in. And Jesus said, I'm just going to walk on it. Some things you ain't going to have to part. I come, God said, right now. He said, this is just this, this right here. This is going to be for those ones that you are at the, at, at the, at the decision-making process of what I got to do. 
I see it. <laughs> I don't know which way to go. I don't know if I'm supposed to go on this side. I don't know if I'm supposed to go on this side. I don't know if I'm supposed to speak to it. I don't know if it's supposed to just move. I don't know if I'm supposed to just step on it. I don't know what's going to happen, but all I got to know is if I'm going to get to the situation, then I'm going to get through whatever it is. I need you just to say, I'm getting through it. I'm getting through whatever I'm going through. I am getting through it. I don't know, somebody ain't say that like you really mean that. You just say, I'm just saying it just because Pastor said, come on, come on, no matter what it said, I just want you to say to yourself, I'm getting through this. I'm getting through this. Come on, band, I need y'all to say, I'm getting through this. Come on, get through this. Come on, come on, I'm getting through this. No matter what it is, I'm getting through this. Come on, I'm getting through this. When you start talking to yourself, you say, I'm getting through this. No matter what it is, I'm getting through this. I'm getting ready to get through it. Anybody got any challenges right now? You just trying to make some decisions. You trying to get through some situations. You ain't sure which way to go, but you know God has already said he's going to show. I got a few things that I can name that I'm just trying to get through. No, oh, okay, y'all ain't got nothing. Okay, okay, okay. I got the church in here that they don't need nothing. They don't need God to do that. They got everything. I'll tell you, I'm right now, I got a few things on my mind, God, that I need you to part, I need you to remove, or I need to just walk on it. Somebody going to be Moses. Somebody going to be Joshua. And then some of us just need to be Jesus. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. When somebody say Jesus, that's right there. You better say, I'm, I want Jesus. Come on, I want Jesus. He never got wet. <laughs> Come on, he never even worried about the situation. He just went ahead and walk right on over. I need you to say, I ain't worried about what it was or what it is. I know what I'm going to, God. All right, okay. All right, all right. I know y'all say, come on, Pastor. You know it's really 7 o'clock. <laughs> come on, 8 o'clock. But come, come on, I come to tell you, while you up, you might as well go and give them some. While you're already doing it, you might as well go and get on in. Come on, while you're already up, you might as well say, come on, God. I am here. Spring forward. See, 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 anytime, I, see, see, anytime that time comes, I believe God says spring forward, which means what? I'm getting ready to spring into something new. I'm getting ready to spring past something that's already happened. I'm getting ready to spring on up on some things. You better understand, God said, he got you up this morning to spring your way on through this thing. Let's be reminded. In the beginning, God, what? Elohim, what? Created what? By forming from nothing the heavens and what? The earth. Huh? God, the earth was formless. And what void or a waste and what emptiness and darkness was was upon the face of the deep, what primal, primal ocean, right? I said that right? Got it? Amen. I want to make sure I sound it out. My English teachers, amen. <laughs> I don't care how many degrees. There's going to be a word every now and then. You're going to work or two. But that's all right. As long as you trust God, it's going to be fine. That cover what the, uh, the unformed, what earth, the spirit of God what was moving, hovering, what brooding over what the face of what? Come on, next. next. And God said what? Let there be what? And there was what? Huh? Let there be what? Come on, come on. And light and there was what? Come on, let there be what? Come on, let there be what? Come on, let there be what? Oh, man. Come on, come on, light. I call, I'm talking to the light people right now. I'm talking to the light people right now. Come on, God said, let there be light. You are light in the name of Jesus. Come on, let's go to our next one. Four, let's go. That God saw what? That the light was good, pleasing. Useful, pleasing, useful. Come on, you, God, you're pleasing to God. You're useful to God. Come on, you're pleasing to God. You're useful to God. And, just to, and he affirmed and sustained it, and God was separated. Wait a minute, wait a minute. And wait, go back one minute. I'm sure I, I didn't see this. He said, and he affirmed, and he what? Sustained. He affirmed, and he sustained. Wait a minute. God has already affirmed, and he's sustaining you through whatever you're getting ready to go through. Whatever it is, he's sustaining you, meaning that he's holding you up. Come on. That means that no matter, you, no matter what it is, I am being sustained in the middle of what I am. I'm being sustained from the beginning. God already called light. He said it was already pleasing and useful. And then he said, what? I'm already getting ready to affirm it, and I'm going to sustain you in the middle of it. I will not pull back. I, 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 I'm, I'm a little bit ahead of myself, but I'm trying to. And then he had God, what, separated the light, what? Distinguishing it from what? The darkness. You've been distinguished before the darkness. You better understand that darkness has no authority over you. You better understand that darkness will not prevail over you. You better say that I'm light, baby. I shine through every dark situation. I shine over everything that tries to hinder me. I am light. 
<laughs> I, 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 come on, come on. My baby girl said that. I said, well, like, I get my baby girl here, y'all, and y'all ain't got to say nothing. She got me. Go on, let's go to the next one. And did five, it did five, so And God called the light day, and what? And the doctors he called night. And there was evening, what? And there was morning one day, and then, come on, next one. And God said, let there be an expanse, an expanse. I had to look at that thing again. I said, expands. God said, I got expansion on y'all. I got some things getting ready to expand. There's some territories you get ready to walk into. There's some territories you get ready to change. I call it expands. Come on, come on. Somebody said, just expands. Right. I said, wow, I got to expands. Come on, right now. God said, expands. And it's the man of the sky, in the midst of the waters. In the midst of the waters. Wait a minute. In the midst of the waters. He said, in the midst of it, in the midst of what you're going through, the waters, whatever it is, in the midst of the financial is issues I may have. Come on, in the midst of the diagnosis, in the midst of the things that are going on, in the midst of it, that's my waters today, y'all. Come on, right now, what I'm going, that might be my water today right now. He said, waters, and let it, what, separate the waters below, what, the expanse. From the waters above the expanse. Come on, come on, one more time. It said, and God made the expanse of the sky and separated the waters which were what? Under the expanse. From the waters which were what? Come on, come on. And it said, above the expanse. And it was what? So, just as he was commanded. God telling you to command some things. God telling you to position some things. God telling you to get where you need to be because there's some things he called for you right now. It's so big that you got to understand that God said, I just need you to get in position. Don't look at what's around you. I called you to separate it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Come on, say, God say, uh, separation. Come on, separation. Come on, separation. It don't feel good, God, separation. You know when it's separation time, it don't feel good because now that means you got to depart from where you were and go to something you don't know. That's why we don't like to get in the water because we're not where we used to be. We're going to a new place. That, uh, a little hell come, you're going to a new place. Wait a minute, wait a minute. A little disappointment come, you're going to a new place. Come on, come on. Somebody say, I got a little hell, so I got to be going to a big place. Come on, I got a lot of things getting ready to happen. I got to be going to another place. A diagnosis, I've got to be going to another place. I'm getting ready to go. My waters are being separated. <laughs> we are called to part it, step in it, or just walk on it. We're called a party, step in it, or just walk on it. Somebody, I want you to say, I'm just getting ready to walk on it. No matter what it looks like, I'm getting ready to walk on it. Whatever it was, whatever it was going through, whatever it was trying to go. Y'all see right now, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to be educated, so I'm using two different methods. <laughs> Y'all better stop playing with me. <laughs> we will never experience a miracle until we get off land and enter supernatural realm. I'm going to say it one more time. We will never experience a miracle until we get off land and enter supernatural realms. So see, some of y'all say, see, see, like, see, when you start to say, you, you cannot handle what you're going through in the physical or the natural, you have to see the supernatural on what it is that God has said because the natural is going to keep you fearful. The natural is going to make you not want to do it. The, it, 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 the situation is going to keep you to a place where you say, mm, 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 I'm not familiar with that. I'm not going there. But do you know the biggest victories are when you're not familiar with where you're going? But you got to step out the boat. You got to step off the land. I got to go see something I ain't never seen before. I got to go to a place. I see, I sit here talking about one guy that, I, you know, I was telling, you know, we, you know, I'm just trying to say, when you see somebody tell me something, I'm going to pay for a building that I ain't even moved in yet. And when I get there, it's going to be debt free. I got a friend of mine that having, they, I mean, they sold their house and went and built a whole nother million dollar house and walked in and sat at the table with no note.
So y'all can't tell me what God can't do. When we said this, I got to step out. He had to step out of himself to say, God, I need to see you do what you said you would do. And you said that you got me. If this is what you want for me, it's already there. It's already sitting there. So now instead of me walking on the water, I'm just looking over it. Anybody understand that? Y'all understand? See, see, when you get to the place that water don't even fear for no more, and that the situation you're going through, it won't even hold you back. What did you say, Doc? You said that a man and Jesus already got this. The blood of Jesus covers me. You said I lost that job. Okay, 20 more coming. <laughs> Let's just jump to Exodus 14. Let's go, y'all, where y'all get to Amplify 14, 13 to 31. I'm going to try to get through this so we won't read it all, but most of it I need it just because of where we are. And it says what? We must get to the place where we are uncomfortable and cannot see our next move or, in other words, surrender. You might say, I'm, I, hey, I'm surrendering. I'm surrendering it to God. It's, I'm surrendering. That's what salvation is all about. It's when we surrender who we are in order to get to where we need to be, when we stop saying we don't want to be that person, we don't want to keep doing that, we want to surrender and get to another place. I'm trying to tell you today, when you get to be Christian and you think you're doing everything right, you got to keep a surrender in your pocket. Because if you get so familiar that you think you know what you're doing and think you got it, you don't need God anymore because you can pray. You don't need God anymore because you can quote 100 scriptures. You don't need God anymore because he bless you. No, don't you get yourself to the place that you get so high mighty. I don't need God on that. I got him. I'm all right. I'm all right. You don't pray no more and ask him for nothing. We don't seek him no more. You only seek him when you get to the danger. You don't seek him daily when I ain't got danger, but I know danger is lurking. You're not seeking it when you're saying, God, I know I can pay my mortgage. I'm good. Well, what, what, what about the time when you could not pay it? But so now he put enough money in your account to do it. Now you don't need to pray about that situation. See, that's the part where I'm going to say, oh, get to the place where you got water up to your eyeballs. And now you don't know how you're going to get there. But I need you just to keep saying, God, you are my everything. I need you to understand, Lord, if it had not been for you, where would I? I come to just to remind, I don't know, God said you just going to have to walk this one through. I know it's not your traditional way you like to go, but you got to trust me on this one. Because right now, this is, I said, God, what is this? He says it's almost prophetic. You know, everybody, oh, don't say that. Oh, you the prophet? Everybody trying to be prophetic. Everybody trying to be a prophet. Everybody trying to go. I don't understand what's going on right now with that whole thing. So you got to be careful. Because we don't want to be saying stuff just to say it. You want to say it under the right authority and know. You ain't got to say, I'm this, that. You just got to know that, hey, God is saying, release that. Because every doctrine will we'll be like wind, just blowing, just hearing and going through stuff. And you got to understand, you got to be cautious about how you sit and receiving certain things because it, ah. Eh. You better check it by the Spirit. And I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. I'm going to leave that one right there for somebody. Say, oh, they talking about you at the church. No, ain't nobody talking about you. It ain't that important. <laughs> go with me to Exodus. Here we go. Here we go. Let's start reading. Let's start reading. We're going to go right ahead. It said what? 13 says what? We had Amplified. We got it at 13. And here we go. Again, we talking about Moses, right? We talking about these complaining people. Hmm. Huh, huh. We're talking about these what? Complaining people. Come on, come on. Those ones that are around you that look like they're smiling with you, but then they just complaining. Come on, these ones that always you do what you got to do for them, but then they always complain. These ones that always want to act like they're your friends, but then they complain. These ones when you want to... Nah, nah, come on, come on. <laughs> oh, anybody got none of them? Anybody ever seen none of them? And ain't none of us never been one of them. Oh... Oh, I tell you, it's going to, come on, come on. It's going to be tight, but it's going to be right. And they said, well, Exodus 14, 13 says what? It said what? Then Moses said what to the people? Do not be afraid. Take your stand. Be firm and confident and, dismay, and undismayed. And see the salvation of the Lord, which what he will accomplish for you today. For those Egyptians whom you what have seen today, you will never. Wait a minute. I need, you, I need you to get some in your mind. 
That sickness, I ain't seeing it no more. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. That, that car issue, I ain't seeing it no more. <laughs> come on, that financial issue, I ain't seeing that no more. Huh, that disrespectful husband or wife, I ain't seeing that no more. That angry situation, I ain't seeing that no more. That girlfriend or boyfriend just trying to pull you down, I ain't seeing that no more. You will be changed. When we start taking authority and a stance and start saying, when you start walking through your house, oh my God, mm, in the name of Jesus. When you walk through your job, in the name of Jesus. When you walk on your car lot, in the name of Jesus. When you start walking with the authority to say, I'm not going to see that no more. I'm not having that foolishness no more. I'm taking a stance. I told you it. Whatever your water is, is, the water is the situation that keeps you from getting what God needs you to get. I need you to see the water this time as a hindrance that is keeping you from getting. But I'm telling you, God is going to say, but I'm going to use that situation for your, my glory, for you to see what I've done. Even when people are complaining, even when you complain, I'm going to still take you through. 14 says what? And the Lord will fight for you. While you would only need to keep silent and remain calm. Some of y'all just talking too much. Some of y'all just calling too many people. Some of y'all just really trying to go to a place and call it too many prayer lines. God said, just, just, just shut up and just kind of hold your peace and I need you to be calm. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. They're laughing. I tell you, sometimes we just want to get all, I said, hey, 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 calm down. Slow down. God said, I already know what's going on. Don't get yourself so agitated because I'm already setting up a move for you. I'm getting ready to bust a move. Huh? Oh, okay, old school. Y'all know that. And then said, 50 said what? And the Lord said to Moses, why do you cry to me? Tell the sons of Israel what? To move. Tell them to do what? Tell them to do what? Hey, divine, do what? Come on, divine, what we got to do? Come on, divine, what we supposed to be doing? Um, come on, move forward toward the sea. 16, as what? As you lift up what? Your what? Staff and stretch what? Out your hands over the sea and divide it what? So that the sons of Israel may go through what? The middle of what? May I say on what? Wait a minute, the middle of the sea on what? <laughs> Come on, the middle of the sea on what? <laughs> Come on, the middle of the sea on what? <laughs> Come on, you're getting ready to go through sickness, but it ain't going to hurt you. Come on, I'm getting ready to go through situation, but guess what? He's getting ready to dry up. The situation I was going through, the pain I was going in, I ain't going to have to deal with that no more. It's getting ready to dry up. It's getting ready to disappear. Go to the next one for let's go, let's go. And then 70, 70 said, well, ask for me here, this I will what, harden the hearts of what? of the Egyptians, and they will go in the sea after them. Okay, go. Let's go. Let's keep moving. All right. It just said, and I will what? Be glorified and honored through what? Pharaoh and all his armies and what? His what? War chariots and what? And his horsemen. Wait a minute. You stay right here. But could it be that we're going through for God to get glory? Can it go through that we right here for God said, I'm getting ready to get glory with that one. I'm getting ready to get glory in where you are. I'm getting ready to get glory in how this. They're getting ready to say, why did you not cry? Why did you not go off? Why did you not go into it? But God said, I'm getting ready to get glory out that situation. I'm getting ready to take you to another level. I'm getting ready. You, that's who you used to be. I used to want to tear your head up. But right now, I'm, uh -uh, I'm, I'm getting in position. I'm getting in position. I, I, I need to know that. I, I, I put the blade back. Put the blade back. Don't, I know you're ready to cut them up. Come on, come on. Put the blade back. Right. I need you to get your rod, not, not the blade today. I need you to get a rod today. God said, I need you to lift up your hands and understand what I'm getting ready to do. I already see that. I know what you want to do, but you can't do that. And the Egyptians shall know without any doubt and acknowledge that what I am the Lord. And then, come on, let's go, let's keep up. Yeah. And then when I have glorified and honored through what? Pharaoh through what? His war chariots and what? His what? Charioteers. Let's go. Yeah, did it with the angel of God. What? Who had been what? going in front of the camp of Israel moved and went behind. The pillar of the cloud moved from what? The front and stood behind them. <laughs> and so it came between the camp of the Egypt and what? The camp of Israel. It was what? A cloud along with what? Even what by day to what? So what? 
the Egyptians, but it gave light by what? It gave light by night. <laughs> you're supposed to be the light by night right now. When you're going through situations, you can't, that, see, that's called your darkness, but you need to be the light to show that right now, whatever is going on, I can be the light. In the midst of whatever situation, I am the light. Come on, whatever is going on, I, come on, somebody say, I am the light. Come on, I come to light it up. Come on, I come to light it up. Come on, I come to light it up. I come to light this thing up with the word of God. I come. <laughs> Y'all better understand. It just said what? It just said by night to what? The Israelites. And so what? The army did not come near the other all night. You so bad, it ain't gonna come near you. You so bad that that thing gonna have to run away. You so bad that that thing gonna sense that they ain't messing with you today. That thing gonna already show you that, okay, all right. Sickness gonna have to bow. Financial issues gonna have to bow. Come on, come on. Disrespectful people gonna have to bow. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Disrespectful people gonna have. Come on, disrespect. <laughs> I love it when I get me one to say, you better understand. You getting ready to bow right now. You start saying, you getting ready to bow in the name of Jesus. You getting ready to bow. <laughs> Just say, you getting ready to bow. I'm talking to the camera. You getting ready to bow in the name. You You, you be wa walking tomorrow, you go in your house, say, bow. <laughs> We're going home. Bow. <laughs> Hopefully they won't watch this one. <laughs> oh, you talking about me? Anyway, then this is what, 21, 21, 7. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and what? And the Lord swept the sea back by a strong, what, east? Oh, what? Wait a minute, wait a minute. That day got me. He was working. Hey, wait a minute, David, Kobe, I, I got that thing this morning when I was sitting over there. He said, all night. All night. Come on, all night. God is working on what he got for you all night. Come on, he's already working on that thing all night. He ain't just get up and do it. He said, I'm going to work on this thing. I have an intentional plan for you that it's going to take me a little bit longer to do what I got to do. But know that I'm working on the plan all night long. Did the song says my all night angels watching over me? God said, I'm watching over you. I'm moving and shifting things all night. Y'all, y'all, I don't have no midnight hour people up in here. Then understand when I got up this morning, God said that whatever you were doing, didn't have to worry about that no more. That's all over. One of my members called, and I won't call names, but then you had a situation that was going on in the midnight hour that we were praying and interceding for, and we said, we don't know what's happening, but we know God's got that situation. And when we come into the ministry, they said, it's all done. They've been found. Everything is well. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. We ain't screaming, screaming. We went to the Lord and said, God, you find them unhurt, unharmed, and well, God, you better... Call on your GPS to go get what you need. Call on it. All right, all right, all right. And turn the seabed into what? Dry land. <laughs> and the waters will what? Divide. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Dry land. <laughs> and the waters will be divided. Come on, dry land. <laughs> and the waters will be divided. Come on, come on, come on, dry land. Some of your situation, come on, right now, you're drying it up. Come on, right now, you're drying it up. Come on, right now, you're drying it up. I need you to understand, right now, God, you're drying it up. And it says, what, in the 22, it says, what? And the Israelites, what, went into the middle of the sea. On what? It's still the sea, but it's dry. He didn't change the situation. He still called it. He just made a way for you. You may still hear what they say, but God said, I'm making a way out of no way. You may see what it looks like, but God said, I'm making a way through. I said, why did you have to go through the middle? Why did he say middle so much? Why could I go through the side and just creep through? Why could I just slide through? He said, no, I need you to go through in a place that's going to be in the middle where everybody can see. I need you to go through the place where I want to put you in the middle of everything that you go through. You'll be able to see it stack up on the left, stack up on the right, and I won't see it no more. And then I'll bring it back around you as I open up the windows of heaven and pour out the blessed. You won't have room enough. What? That's, I ain't going to have room enough. Yeah, yeah. 
I, I, that's what I can't do. I, I, don't want, I don't want y'all to know what God has for you. He has so much for you. That's why I come to encourage you. You cannot be distracted by the foolishness on the side. You got to walk on water. That means you got to walk on financial issues. You got to walk on disappointment. You got to walk on. You, come on. He said that they, wait a minute, let me make sure now. He said, and they went into the middle of the sea on dry land, and the waters formed, and they walled to them on their right, and what? On the, on the. And then the Egyptians pursued them into what? The middle of the sea. Even the all Pharaoh horses, his war chariots, and what? And his charioteers, what? So it, it happened at the early morning watch. It was night. Now it's morning. It was night. And now God said it's morning. It was night. And God said, I'm giving you your morning. I'm bringing it up now. Before dawn, the Lord, Lord that the Lord looked down on the army of the Egyptians through the pillar of the fire and cloud and put them in a state of confusion. Can I tell you something? God said, you're not supposed to be confused because you're following me. Confusion are for those people who don't know where they're going. The confusion are for those who have no hope and no purpose of where they're going. And come on, we, we, we should know where we're going. Why are we going to get into the confusion box with somebody trying to tell you how to go and what to do? And you can already see that they're living in hell. Their mind ain't even right. Why are you going to trust them and you're going to change what God tell you? You better mind. I'm, I'm going to get there. I got, I got to get there because we got to get to the next one. And he said, how would you turn? And he said, he made their chariot wheels. Hard to turn. And the chariot difficult to drive. So the Egyptians said, come on, let's move. And said, Let us flee from Israel for the Lord is fighting. <laughs> Wait a minute. What happened when your enemies start getting afraid and then they start saying, wait a minute, hold on a minute. There's something getting ready to happen right here. We're getting ready to get caught up here. We got to get up out of here because right now it's getting ready to attack us. We were the attacker, but now we getting ready to get attacked. We got to run from the situation where we caused. You better see your enemy moving from what they done caused. You better see your enemy running from your finances. I don't care that you might have did it. I, I'm not saying that. I don't say But I'm saying there's some things that you know that, hey, God said, uh, rebuking the devourer for you. I'm going to hold on to you right now. I got some things right there that I'm getting ready to say. I'm getting ready to make them flee from that thing. I'm getting ready to take that little and make it much. I'm getting ready to flip that thing for you. You just start thinking in your mind. Right now, you speak to my bank accounts right now in the name of Jesus. Money is coming in my accounts. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. I just tell you to stop in the middle. Just start saying money is coming. Come on, come on. There's no lack. There's no lack in my house. I mean, you got to say it to yourself. I'm telling you, you got to start saying right now, no lack. I mean, I guess the band got enough money because they ain't saying nothing. You got enough money over there? Hey, I need a loan. Come on, come on. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. You got to be able to understand that piece. No lack. No lack. <laughs> no lack. See, they thought they were going to have lack, but God said there's no lack there. Come on, there's no like there's more provision, but you got to go from where you were into where I need to get you. But it's not until I get you in the middle of the situation where you really understand how good I am. Who's fighting for me? Let us flee from Israel, for the Lord is fighting for them against what the Egyptians, let's go. And then the Lord said what? To Moses, what? Stretch out your hand over the sea so that what the waters may come back over. Some of y'all better just stretch your hands out. Come on, come on, come on. You forgot, the, you forgot the, the authority and the power that you walking in. You forgot huh, what God created. You forgot that God said, all you got to do is get in your mind that when I speak to it, it's going to move. When I speak to it, it's going to run. When I speak, man, I don't. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I, 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 maybe we're going to get away. It's going to get a little warm in here, and I need some air. Amen. Let's go. <laughs> Let's move to the next one. 27. And when their war chariots and their charioteers move. So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the sea returned to its normal flow at sunrise. It returned to its normal flow at sunrise. 
God's going to get you through, and then whatever that is is going to be behind you. That demonic attack is going to get something else. It ain't going to get me because I'm gone. See, the enemy has to do their job, right? And what can I do? Can I do my job? And I'm trusting you, God. I'm trusting to get through every situation. I'm telling you, God, I've got to trust you in the middle of the situation, no matter what it is, but I can speak and open my arms to some things. I can close my arms to some things and say, God, take it away. And why you say that? Because I'm reading the word. The word says that Moses did it, so why can't John do it? Why can't Sarah do it? Why can't Beth do it? What, we, we don't make the word relevant now. We leave the word right in the Bible, and that's it. But we don't take that word out of the word and apply it to ourselves. We don't put that word on the inside of us to start saying, in the name of Jesus, whatever is attacking me, whatever is stopping me, I'm telling you right now, in the name of Jesus, it will be no longer. I'm telling you, in the name of Jesus, when I raise my hand to give God glory. Can I tell you what praise do? Praise is like Moses. You're giving God glory and you parting some stuff. You separating some stuff. You warding off some stuff. You are thanking God in advance for some stuff. And you are getting over some things. You better understand what praise means. I saw this as Moses giving God praise and glory. He said, when I acknowledge him, who wouldn't fight for me like that? Are you acknowledging God in the midst of your situation? Or have you put your hands down? Have you gotten to a place where you don't trust who God is no more because you look like it's stacked up against you? That's just an opportunity for God to say, I'm going to move it to the left, and then I'm going to move it to the right, and then I'm going to put you right on in the center of it, and you're going to walk on. That's what it is. God said it's proper alignment and proper hearing is what you need to do. That's why this floor is designed the way it is because we need it to be in the center of the room, not to the side, but in the center of the room. It's what you get. So then when the people of God come in, they will see the glory of God in front. Because whatever you were dealing with when you sat there, whatever you were dealing with when you said it, when you step into this aisle, you will say, my God, he made a way. Yeah. Oh, I, 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 I'm enjoying it. And, so, and Egyptians retreated right into it, into it. Being met by what? The returning water. Being met by what? Being met by what? But you should never return there no more. But you should never return there no more. Come on, I'm never going to return back to what I went through. I need you just to speak to that. Speak to that. Right now, this is about your confession. I'm, never, I'm not going back to that. Come on, I'm not, go, I'm not going to put up with that no more. Come on, I'm not putting up with that no more. I'm not going to keep on going through that process no more. I'm not putting up with that no more. But why you can't, why, 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 when it becomes effective is how do you respond to what it is that you see? That's the reason why you won't put up with it no more because I'm going to be different if it ever comes up again. I will never be the same person of what it was when it attacked me the first time because I've learned some things. I've been through some things and I know what God has done. So right now, I don't even have to worry about that. I'm changing my position. So the Lord overthrew the Egyptians, and well, let's go. All right, I know I'm getting off. Tossed them into the midst of the sea, then let's go. And then said, what? And what? The waters returned, and the cover of the chariots, and what? The charioteer, and all the army of Pharaoh, what? That had gone into what? The sea after them. This is the last one. I'm going to start right there. Not even one of them survived. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Not even one of them survive. <laughs> Not even one of those troubles are going to survive. Not, not, not even one of those troubles are going to survive. Come on. Not even one of those troubles are going, come on. Not even one of those troubles, whatever I got on my mind, it ain't even going to survive. I'm not even going to give life to it because I'm already victorious. I'm not giving life to that. I'm not giving wind to that. I'm not giving breath to that. I'm not even giving my energy to that because I already know God said I'm already there. Stop giving your energy to dead situations. 
See, I was so glad when Moses said, I'm getting ready to change my posture on what it is that I'm doing because I was listening to these fools. No, he ain't said the word fool. Yeah, sometimes we being very foolish, which means if you're being foolish, we can be acting like a fool. And we need to stop listening to those people who are not encouraging you that you can go onward. Or those who are speaking death to you, you got to get with those people who are going to speak life to you and say, come on here, let's go. We, we done cried long enough. We done sat by the side long enough. How long are you going to sit here or are you going to get up? Some people are going to stop calling you because you won't get in the boat with them. You won't keep talking about the same stuff with them. See, my phone will ring all the time with some, I mean, you know, we got people we're ministering to. But I'm talking about, you know, ain't a whole lot of foolishness. Why? Because you call this phone, I'm not going to let you keep crying about what it was. What we going to do? How we going to get through this thing? And that, see, that's a deterrent for some folks. We said, well, look, why, why? Okay, I get it. It happened. What we getting ready to do? I, I need somebody to say, what are we getting ready to do? God looking at you said, what you want me to do? Come on, come on. God looking at you right and said, what you want me to do? How you want me to get involved with this situation? What do you want me to do? And, and wouldn't it be good when you say, God, don't even worry about that. I got this one. Let's move to my next water. Ah, Jesus. John, John. I think I'm going to, yeah, six. Go to John six. Go to John six. Let's run. Let's run here. I got to get, I got to get this in. I got to get the 91. I got to get this one in. Let's go King James first. Let's go King James. Here we go to Jesus. Here we go. And I said, God, what is this? I said, I remember again, we read in the other gospels. Again, they talk about Peter, but he said, I don't want you to focus in on Peter. So you got to read the other version of this in John because I don't want to worry about Peter. I want you to see that again, we have to get off the shore and sometimes you got to go into the middle of what it is that you're going through and then you'll find Jesus in the midst of the situation. When you start to say, where is he? Why ain't he get me out this situation? Why am I still dealing with this? I done spoke to it and it still ain't moved. I, I, I done called it, named it, claimed it and everything and it's still here. Why am I still going through? Because God said there's some things you just got to get to in the middle of it and the water going to still surround you. And until you figure it out, I'm going to let you sit there. But in this thing, it was about Jesus. And again, he had done everything. He did 5,000, fed him and got him straight and everything. And then they wanted to come get him. They wanted to make him a king. But what Jesus said, well, what I'm getting ready to do is I'm going, um, uh, to pray. I need everybody else to go on, but I'm going to pray. When the last time you said, I'm going to pray? When the last time you said, I'm not going to deal with the foolishness, I got to get to myself where I can just go pray. And I can hear God for myself. I can go to the place that I need to go and pray. I don't need another prophet. I don't even need another pastor. I don't even need another song. I need to hear God. Jesus said, I got to go to my father. I got to get to a place that I can hear him because the next move is going to be critical. Wait a minute. My next move is going to be critical. My, come on, somebody say, my next move is critical. I'm, pu I'm pushing you into, now you got to hear what God, see, I said, Jesus, it was like, I want to walk like Jesus. I want to think like Jesus. I want to do what Jesus, he said, we supposed to do greater. So if you don't focus in on understanding what it is that he did, you will never do it. So I said, God, how, help me to really see this peace. And he said, just look at it. I know we've heard it. I know we flipped it. But until you believe it, it won't work. So I said, God, I want to believe it today. I want you to change my eyes, my heart to believe that it is time when I got to push off the shore. The distance look like it's right there. But God said, It ain't time to get there yet. I can see it. It ain't time yet. I'd have prayed about it. It ain't time yet. You got me all the way out here just for nothing? God 
What are you trying to embarrass me? These guys, all they said, the disciples, they were on the boat. They were sitting here and God, he told them, push out. He didn't even say, I'll meet you on the other side. There are times when God just going to tell you to push out. But you cannot allow fear to stop you from going to where God has told you to go. Because you don't have A, B, C, D, you cannot stop. You've got to go. Right now, COVID has stopped many of us from our dreams, our aspirations. We acknowledge that COVID is real. One year later, we acknowledge that COVID has killed people. One year later, we acknowledge that COVID is still around. Amen. But we do see that there's many of us that have beat it. There are many of us that have not been attacked by it. There are many of us that have walked through it. There are many of us that are still raising our hand that say, I got through the process. It may not have been good for some, but guess what? I still made it. I made it. Let's go. It said, after these, these things went, what? Oh, we had one. No, let's jump down. I'm sorry. Let's go to 16, 16, 16. Start right there. And then it said, what? And when even was now come, his disciples went down unto the sea and entered into a ship and went over. We good? Okay. The ship and went over the sea toward Capernaum. And it was now dark. And Jesus was what? Not come to them. And the sea arose by re re reason of what? A uh, Wait a minute. <laughs> what happens that hell don't break out until you show up? The challenges don't come until you step out and do what God told you to do. The doubt don't come until you get in the midst of the project or what it is that I'm supposed to do. It don't happen until I step off land and go to an unfamiliar place. But that's the familiarity of who God is. When we cannot call it, but we got to trust him. But then it said, what a great wind that blew. See, when we read another version, it said, how, when we're talking about Jesus rebuking the storm. But what happens when you're in the midst of the storm and Jesus said, I'm not doing it, but you got to go through the process of what it is. Because I would never leave you or forsake you. I'm in the midst of it, but you got to understand that I am your comforter. The Holy Spirit is with us. But this right now, we're talking about Jesus. The spirit of Jesus right now was right there. Because in Genesis, didn't they say that it was hovering? The spirit was hovering. So when that said that hovering, that means that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit was right there. Do you think that that left from the place of the waters? He's still right there. It's just you could not see him, but you got to be able to feel him. I got to feel God's presence on the inside of me when I'm in the middle of my storm and it's blowing me from east to west, north, south, and I don't know what else to do. I've got to feel the presence of God. When I'm upset, and I really, really want to tell and say what I want to say, but God said, in the midst of your anger, you got to calm that storm. In the midst of you wanting to retaliate, you got to calm that storm. In the midst of you wanting to tell them what you think, you got to. <laughs> see, I, I, I see, it, it, it ain't until you to get to the place that you understand that I got to not say what I really want to say, but I got to know that God is with me. And when I saw that piece, I started saying that I know that they probably were. I don't even know how big it was. I don't even know how many, I mean, you don't say the disciples were, but you don't understand where were they sitting? What were they doing? How was it going? All I know is they said they kept rowing about three or four miles, and it was what? In the midnight hour. Is that a time when it looks like you start waking up in the middle of the night because this thing been bothering you? But then God said, I'm trying to get you to the other side of it. I need you to acknowledge that it do exist, but I'm going to tell you, you're going to get over here. So when they what rode about five and 20 or 30 furloughs, that's anywhere from about five to eight miles, I believe is what they were saying. They see Jesus walking on the sea. 
and drawing nine to the ship. And they were afraid. Why are we still afraid when Jesus shows up? We should be shouting for victory when the thing is over, when the storm is over. They didn't scream in the beginning. They go scream when Jesus comes. Oh, what's going on? Wait a minute. Some of us, not, see, that's what I said. We're not getting excited about what we already know, God. Don't get fearful when you're in the midst of the situation and you can see the land and you can see what's going on and you already see your victory and you already know, God, God right now, it's getting ready to happen. Do not be afraid of where you're going. I, I just go, do not be afraid of where you are going. I'm going to say it one more time. Do not be afraid of where you, because it's the expected end. It's the promise that God has. I'm going and moving toward my promise. They had to go from where they were and get across. But he didn't tell you what you want how to cross in order to get there. Next, let's go. And then it says what? Come on, come on, we on. But he said unto them, it is I. Be not it is I be not afraid wait a minute wait a minute it is I be not come on it is I be next let's go and did it say what and did it came and said then they willingly received him into what the ship and it what immediately <laughs> the ship was at what the land, whither they went. Go back, 21, amen. Then they willingly received him into what the ship. And what? Y'all know when we see that word immediately, I need you to let that work in your spirit. Don't run past that word immediately. When you see the word immediately, there's a, a siren telling you that something's getting ready to happen for you right now. Immediately, God, right now, in the name of Jesus, I want to stop on it immediately. That they let him in. When you let Jesus into the situation, immediately things will start to move. When you let him into your situation, start speaking, immediately your attitude will start to change. When you let him in, ha, the diagnosis will look different. Immediately, when I start to speak the word of God over the situation, immediately things will start to move. When I start to speak, the word of God over immediately is going to change how I act. It's going to change how I see. It's going to change how I walk. When I put it immediately, when I put the word into me immediately, because the word became flesh, right? So Jesus, again, when you start to look at it, you start saying immediately, God said, how are you going to change? Don't be afraid of it. Immediately, I'm getting ready to change some. I know I got to keep going. Immediately, the ship was at the land. Immediately, the ship was at the land. Immediately, you're going to get to where you're supposed to be. Immediately, you're going to see some things change. Immediately, things are going to move. I don't think nobody understand that one. See, see, at first, I was in the middle of the situation. Now, I'm where I'm supposed to be. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm going to say it one more time. I used to be here. But when I took the chance and trusted God, I got in here. And he said, it, all you got to do is trust me and push out and get into where I got to go. And I did it I'm going to walk on water. And so that's where Jesus walked on water. So now I'm giving it a walk on some situations. I'm giving it a walk on stuff that's been trying to hold me. I'm giving it a walk over stuff that's been trying to keep me afraid. I'm giving it a walk on stuff that's been trying to haunt me. I'm giving it a walk on disappointment. I'm going to walk on failure. I'm trying to tell you, when you've been held back, this ship, I, started, I said, God, when you get to that place that you don't have nothing else and you got to just take your little bag and go. And immediately the ship was at the, the, ship was at the land and whether they went. Then last it said, the day following, when the people which stood on the other side of the sea saw that there was none other boat. There, save the one whither into 
his disciples were entered and Jesus went not with his disciples into the boat and then he says what but that was his disciples were gone away alone stop that's it and I tell you that Jesus said I, I, I'm trying to come to you what is it that you need him to come to you because if he's not already in you and you can see that, then I need him to come to me. I need him to come to that situation. I need him to come to that pain. I need him to come in that thing that's keeping you from seeing where you need to go. I need him to get into that situation. I say, God, I, I, Jesus, I need you to get in my situation. you to get in my situation. See, we always want to think it's a bad thing. It's not always a bad way. You say, Jesus, I need you just to get into this situation. There's something I need you to get into this situation. Psalm 91. But when we start to think about it, we were standing on this in 2020, and this is what God, he just reminded me this morning. He said, 2020, you won't see no more. We see the aftermath and the residual, but we'll never see it anymore. So don't be fearful of where you came from. Be rejoicing for where you're going. We still hung up on where we were, but God said we're going to a whole nother place. What we used to be, we'll never go. We'll never see that no more. We'll never see that no more. Come on, we'll never see that no more. I need somebody to say no more pandemics in the name of Jesus. Come on, no more pandemics for us in the name of Jesus. Right now, we already speak to no more in the what? Name of Jesus. Now let's connect this to Psalm 91. Let's go ahead and say, he that dwelleth what in the secret place, what of the most high, shall what abide under what the shadow? I will say of the Lord. He is what, my? And he's my what? He's my what? What, in him will I? What? Oh, 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 go back to, go back to. I will, will say to the Lord, he is my refuge and my, my, my God in him. I will what? I will what? I will what? I will do what? I will do what? I will do what? No, when there's pain, I will do what? When there's disappointment, I will do what? When I don't know where I'm going, I would do what? In him, I will trust. In him, I will trust. In him, I will trust. Come on, in him, no matter what it looks like, in him, I'm going to trust him. In him, I'm going to trust him. Come on, let's go to the next one. Genesis 1, 4 says, Surely he shall deliver thee from what? The snare of the fowler and what? From the north. Oh. Flip a little bit fast. And then say what? <laughs> yeah. He shall cover thee with what? His. And under his wings shall thou what? Trust. Wait a minute. Is that word trust again? Wait a minute. And under his wings shall what? His truth shall be thou what? And buckle. And then five says what? Thou shall not be afraid for what the terror about what? <laughs> what was that tonight? See, I told you we're going to bring it all together. I'm showing you again from the beginning. Then I'm showing you Moses. Then I'm showing you Jesus. Yeah, let's bring it all together. Let's put it all in one group here. For you see, everything is falling right in Psalms 91. It's the way in the terror by night. Nor what the arrow that flieth, what? And then nor the pestilence that what walketh? <laughs> so even though you walk in, the enemy is walking too. But don't be afraid of that. Nor for what? The destruction that what? Wastes at what? Wait a minute. A thousand shall fall at what? And what? At that what? Stop right there. See, see, you can't tell me the word is not real. When we got somebody right now in the ministry 
that you got to ask the question, did they say 1,000 or did they say 10,000? And they said, well, 10,000 people lost their job, but I still got mine. Yes. And he expands my territory. He increased my territory. He kept the fountain. He kept it pestilence away from me. He kept the arrows away from me. He was already planning and plotting what he had. Y'all ain't understanding. God is already planning and plotting what he already got for you. He's already planning and plotting. But will you trust me? <laughs> I'll tell you, this, this one, I know y'all probably say, Pastor, this was a little different. Yeah, it is. But it's make you, I love you, Keisha. See, see, there are times where you sit here and you got to say, God, I want to be able to absorb and suck in the word. I'm learning. I'm telling y'all, I'm learning. I, I thank God for the Holy Ghost in us shout when it's time we do that. But there's stuff we need to get in. I'm realizing that we had a lot of people that we were doing all that with, and that's why they can't find the church now because they, they just got emotional. But they didn't get the word on the inside of them. And when the challenges came, they walked away and not walked too. And now you're posting and putting out there like you so great. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm just trying to tell you, we, we got to understand who's the keeper. So God said, you got to slow down and start putting the word in. You got to keep putting that word in. Like you say, Fred Price, people for years got under that man's word. You got under that and understand that anointing that that man had. And when he spoke with the word and the power and the authority, the word, these people were changed. twenty some thousand people, minds got changed by the word of God. All I'm trying to say is we got to change our mentality. That when everything comes up against you, you don't start acting like a fool. They start sitting in the corner like you don't know who God is. I'm going to tell somebody to pray with you. And they say, I ain't going to pray with them because they crying and carrying on. And ain't no need me go over there. All right. Let me get back on. Shit. God is trying to get us some real Christians up in here to really understand what the word of God is. We some of them, yeah, we believe. No, you need to really check that stuff because really, uh. Okay, in seven. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand. But what it shall not come not. It shall not come not. And only what with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. <laughs> Come on, because thou hast made the Lord, which is what? My refuge, even the most high, that what habitation. Come on, there shall no evil befall thee. No evil. No evil befall thee. What? Neither shall any plague come nigh thy. For he shall what? Give his what? Angels charge over thee to keep what? Thee in all that way. Wait a minute. Hold on. Don't, don't flip. Don't flip. For he shall give his angels. Come on. Charge over thee. For he shall give his angels charge over thee. For he shall give his angels charge over to keep thee in all what? Man, I don't know about y'all, man. I'm, I'm feeling more encouraging. God said, I'm giving my angels a charge over you. I'm releasing more angels to you. I'm taking charge. I'm releasing more angels to you. I know what you got. I know the assignment. I'm releasing more angels to you. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> I guess I minister, I'll be at the end of the service. You give me this wet way. Amen. Hey, dear. Now, let's go. And, and did it say, in all their ways, in all their ways, In all their ways, they shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the who? And the what? Wait a minute, is that sound like we're walking on top? Does that sound like the water? Does that sound like a wild man? Let's be wild. Walk on water, baby. Let's walk on situation. Whatever it is, I'm walking on. What's your line? What's your honor? What is it? 
You have to substitute that thing and understand. You got to make it relevant. The young lion and the dragon shall what? Thou trample under thy what? It's under your feet, baby. It's under your feet. Somebody said, under my feet. Come on, it's under my feet right now. That situation I'm going through, I'm believing in the name of Jesus, under my feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known, he knows my name. He knows your name. He knows the situation. He knows your name. Two more verses. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will be with her in trouble. I will be with him in trouble. I will be with her in trouble. I will be with them in trouble. He will be with us in trouble. He will be with divine in trouble. He will be with divine in trouble. Come on, he will be with divine in trouble. And I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation with long life <laughs> wait a minute I don't think y'all get it with long life <laughs> come on <laughs> with long life <laughs> he didn't say there won't be no trouble but I got long life in, the, uh, in store for me he didn't say I got to go through some situation but I got long life in store for me come on right now I got long life I know what God has even though the water is coming I know God said I have the ability to stack it to the left and to the right I've got long life in front of me I'm not turning back because my immediate is right in front of me. Somebody say, my immediate is right in front of me. My immediately is right in front of me. Come on, I'm in the midst. Some of y'all are in the midst of your immediate. Some of y'all say, I'm in the midst of my immediate. And some of y'all say, I just came out of an immediate situation where God just turned that thing right around. God just flipped everything right around in for my favor. It was for my good. Go on, stand on up, y'all. Y'all been sitting and listening intently, but I pray in your spirit <laughs> that you go go snow on this day. He you say no matter what it looks like. I'm getting out of this and I'm getting through this. I'm getting to the other side. No matter what they say, I'm going to trust God. I'm going to trust the salvation that Jesus came for me. He died for me. Jesus, I thank you that you went through everything you went through for me. You are important to him. Just say right now to yourself. See, some of us feel like we are just so alone in our mind and our men. Uh, you know, we, we, we haven't heard an affirmation. I'm important to you, God. I'm important to you, Father. I'm important to you. I'm important to you, Father. I'm important to you. So, Father, we thank you for the word. We thank you, God, for an opportunity just to just soak in and bask in your word. I wanted to soak. I wanted to bask in every word that came off the, off the paper today. I just wanted to walk my way through, God. I wanted to, to just stand, right, God? I wanted it just to, to saturate me, God. That when I find myself in the midst of the situation, I have an opportunity to part it. I have an opportunity to just speak to it. Oh, I just got to sit and wait in the patience of knowing that you're going to get me out of this situation. I want to be encouraged today. God, all 
I wanted to do is to just encourage people that, look, I know we're going through. But the key word is I'm going through. I'm never going to stay where I used to be. I'm going through to a new place. And so, God, today we thank you for taking us through. But, God, we're praying right now for those right now, for the word of God right now. To find yourself in the midst, I want to encourage you. Do not give up. They were ruined. They were ruined, all of them, and they were tired. Many of us had just gotten a little tired. We're tired of saying the right thing. We're tired of trying to do the right thing, and it looks like it's just that we're tired. But Jesus said, I got you. Can I get in that situation with you? Can I show you how to navigate because we're going to be to the other side immediately when you surrender to me? So God, right now, we thank you for people that come to say, I'm surrendering, God. <laughs> I'm tired of me doing it all on my own. <laughs> I'm surrendering, God. You are my strength. And God, I thank you for who you are. Thank you for being my father, Abba Father. And so that brings me to those who may be tuned in right now. Have you confessed Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Have you made him the center of your joy? Have you confessed him for the sins that he came for? And you said, I don't want to do that no more. I want to change. Have you confessed him as your Lord and Savior? That's just that, it's just that easy. Just say right now, I want to turn. I know he came for my sins, and I don't want to be that no more. So right now, I want to confess you as my Lord and Savior. I want to come into the kingdom. I want to be a part of the kingdom. My brothers and sisters, I want to be a part of that kingdom, that joy, that joy that they have. I know we got some that may not see that, but you got to focus yourself on those who really know who God is for themselves. And no matter the situation, they keep plowing their way through. And then you say, well, I am saved. But I just haven't been doing everything I knew I probably needed to do. So right now, I want you to say, God, I just want to rededicate myself. I got off a little bit. I was a little off course. I was in the middle of the water. Different troubles have taken me left and right. Huh? Oh, yeah, I'm not even posting and doing what I'm supposed to do. Come on, I want to give you glory. I want to thank you for getting me through. So now I just want to come back. And I just want to say it's me. The word, just the word. I want to be pure. I want to be cleansed with the word. I want to get up and read the word. I want to get reinvigorated by the word. I want to get rejuvenated by the word. We speaking to somebody right now. You got to get back in the words. You got to get your strength from the words. You got to re get rejuvenated, rejuvenated, rejuvenated by the word. You got to get back up. Come on, we can do this. You tell us, come on, come on, come on, come on with us. We going over together. So, Father, we thank you right now for the word and for those who have joined and for those who have confessed Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Thank you, God. We thank you right now. We thank you for the word. We thank you for those who've come in. We thank you for those who rededicate themselves. And then also, we always put in the Holy Spirit right now. Fall fresh on them. Right now, we send the Spirit of God in the presence, God. Every situation, God, we send the Spirit of God over there right now. Be filled with the Holy Spirit, the counselor, the paraclete. So, God, we thank you for who you are. We thank you for the word. We thank you for showing us, God, that we're going to get through it. <laughs> we're going to walk on water, God. That there, water, again, is the situation that you may find yourself. What are you going to walk on today? What situation are you going to just walk on and not going to let it bother you no more? Because it's going to be behind you. I'm going to a new place. I'm going to a new place. I'm going to a new place. So, Father, we glorify your name. And we thank you. It is in Jesus' name we all say amen and amen. Hallelujah. Somebody just give us a hallelujah way. Just a ho another hallelujah way. Come on, come on. Just another hallelujah way. <laughs> you may be seated. Hallelujah. All right, Ben. All right, we're moving on. Let's move on. So we could, we could go with a little early, and everybody, you know, had to get up a little earlier this morning. Again, for those who need an envelope that don't do electronic, um, okay, good. Amen. That means, okay, we have one. Amen. 
We thank you for our visitor, amen, visiting with us, glory to God, amen. We don't make you stand up and do all your name stuff, but we do acknowledge you're in the house. You could have been anywhere, and we thank you for visiting with us. And so right now, we thank you for our announcements that are going forth. Again, we have our call on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Tuesday, March the 16th, right? Our, our men's Bible study will be um, on that day, and we have our guys already set and ready to go. Game night for the youth will be on this coming Saturday, correct? Amen. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Amen. All right. And then we have the Kingdom Advance Conference, which starts actually on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Okay? We want you to log in, tune in. You will register. We send emails out to people and all that information. So we want to make sure you be a part. Expand your mind about this. Um, Bishop Robinson is going to be also on that, and he'll be doing Friday. So we want a man of God. We want to make sure we're doing that. We flashed up birthdays, so those are um, happening and things like that. We just always want to acknowledge you all. We will have, again, merchandise is available for those who need to get your I Love My Church shirts, which are our new divine logos by Brother Isaac, who helped with that design. We thank him for that. Uh, make sure we do that. And don't forget that we have our corporate fast, which is always on every Wednesday. We just came off a of fast. Anybody feel any different? Amen. Amen. I'm trying not to go back to old ways. But I tell you, something where you're like, oh, Lord. Then you start saying, what are we doing? We ain't going to do that. So we got to get our stuff together. Let's continue to keep. And then we have Palm Sunday again, which is what, March the 28th. Amen. So keep that in your mind when we're doing that. So again, those online, you have an opportunity to give. You know, again, we have the opportunity. You can go through the um, app and do that and be able to give with us and put your, your seeds into the kingdom. Amen. And then we want to publicly thank everyone for our fifth anniversary celebration. Um, I tell you, Divine, um, you know, it's, it's years that you feel love. I'm, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Um, and you see stuff and but you all this year, I felt was a whole nother level. It may have been some child trying to get, I know how it is, trying to plan stuff, get stuff together, but the expected end is what happened. You all exceeded and went to another level in how you honored us as pastors in our year. And I want to say publicly, thank you. Thank you for everything, every seed that was sown, those that we still receive in seeds for that. Those are the things that I'm telling you when you say, God, I don't deserve it. But he said, but I want to be a blessing to you because you're blessing the kingdom. And so I want to thank you all for that again and co-pastor again for what we've done um, together in union. This would not be anything without you all. And so, again, I want you always to remember that it's not us just by ourselves. It's us together. It's us together. And my victory comes when I hear and see somebody who started this way and saw how God just moved them to another level. We were riding behind Minister Ross today, and I remember that we had a vehicle that um, we were, we, uh, Kopi was trading her car and getting some, and Minister Ross said, well, I want to get the vehicle. I want to get in. I said, okay, I'm going to make sure it's good and ready for you. Whatever you need, we did. I believe that car didn't give you a lot of problems. You were able to go through it and everything until she felt like it was time to elevate. And then we talked about it. She said, this is what I think I want or whatever. And next thing you know, she had her option. And so today when I'm riding behind her, I mean, she's had the car now over a year now, right? Almost two. Almost two years. But I remember she was trying to say, should I? And I said, go on, get it. Let's do it. Go on and let it go. And now when I'm riding behind her and seeing her turn, I said, God, look at her. That looks like her. I mean, I, I, y'all don't understand how we sit back and see things and say, I remember when you, you had a consultation with me about should I? I see Keisha. She's celebrating birthday. What, Ariel? Malia. I said Ariel. Malia's birthday was just there. And I'm seeing how God blessed her with two babies in the house, not just one, but two. <laughs> that she had a chance to celebrate. And I'm like, God, I'm, I'm just saying that to say, I'm excited. Stand on up with me, y'all. And, 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 and this year, more great things are coming, y'all. I'm telling you, more great things are coming. I'm going to meet with Henrico tomorrow, talking about things we're doing in the community, them connecting with us. So I'm telling you, we are not going to stop. We're getting back to what we used to do. We're going to be walking these neighborhoods with your mask on, and we're going to be doing we We're going to have some prayer meetings right here at the church. You can still be online, but we're going to have some outside that we're going to let them know that God reigns. 
and yet the doors of this church is open. Amen. Minister, you got one thing? Okay. Did I say something? Okay. Okay. Kopi's event. Okay, Kopi's event for Transformation Talk um, is going to be March the 27th from 10 to 1, and that's going to be here, right, Kopi? Okay, just stay tuned. Amen, amen. And if we do do it here again, socially distant, we're going to do the same thing. Um, I, I, I'm hoping that it'll be an opportunity for the women to come together. And if not, then half and then online and, you know, Zoom or something like that. That y'all be able to, because again, there's some things we start moving. Amen. But we're going to do it safely. Amen. If, and if the woman of God doesn't feel it in her spirit, then we know we're not going to do it that way. Then we'll go the way that, we, um, that she feels led. Amen. Okay. And then, um... Resurrection Sunday, again, I had um, invite a friend. It's April the 4th, so we'll be going through that again. So, again, we it's two Sundays. You know, we have the I Love My Church Sunday. Then we have April the 4th, which will be Resurrection. So, again, we want you to just invite a friend, you know. And even if you don't have them come here, invite them to tune in. You can also say, hey, tune in. You know, tune into our ministry and see how we're doing and what we're doing. We may seem small, but we mighty. We may seem small, but we mighty. We may seem small, but we might. I'm trying to tell you, you don't want to mess with these divine people up in here. They're doing some great things. Amen. So, Father God, we thank you for the finances right now. We thank you for who you are. We thank you for, God, what you've done. We thank you, God, for these finances that we have. Increase in the name of Jesus. Right now, God, we're giving our tithes, God. See, we want to learn how to do what the Word said about our tithe, God that we want to get back to the kingdom, get back to the storehouse, that there be room there. Come on, that there be meat in this house and that there be overflowing happen, God. We want to get back to the kingdom accordingly to the way God has already ordained. So God, we're not going to hold on to the money for the rainy day, but we're releasing God because we already know that it's going to increase like never before. No rainy days for us, God. All of them will be sunny. Liquid sunshine shall always be on our finances. So, God, we thank you for those that are sowing online. Thank you that your seeds will be planted into great, 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 good, fertile soil. And you will see immediate returns. Immediate returns. So, God, we thank you for protecting the harvest, God. The financial harvest that you're bringing into divine world changes in the national ministry. But, God, lastly, as we get ready to depart from this place, we usually do two things at once where we bless the finances. And then we also do the release. God, we thank you right now that the, the word won't be taken by the devourer, God. We thank you for an opportunity, God, to be able to come and to lift our hands again, God, and to give you all glory. Thank you, God, for the word of God. We thank you for the word, God. But we thank you for what you're going to do with the word, how it's going to cleanse us, God. How it's going to heal us, God. How it's going to manifest in us, God. And how it's going to produce. So, God, we thank you for manifestation of the word, God. Demonstration, miracle signs and wonders. And they didn't classify that as a miracle with him walking on water. But we know that was nothing but a miracle, God. It was a sign and a wonder. So, God, I want you to say to your people right now, there's going to be some signs and some wonders. that people are going to be watching and say, my God, is that a miracle or what? So, God, we thank you right now for what is to come. Keep them, God. Let the angels continue to be around them, God. Hedge your protection around them, God. <laughs> Let them sleep, God, in peace in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus covers you. So, God, we thank you until we meet again that we never leave your presence. It is in Jesus' name that we all say, amen. Amen. You are dismissed. Give everybody some divine love as you get ready to go. We love you. God bless you.